Are you ready to shine in your most authentic, gentle form? Are you prepared to embrace the soft part of you that knows peace, not as a distant dream, but as a living, breathing reality within? Today, I want to encourage us to redefine what it means to be strong by exploring the beauty of our softer selves. It's understandable why we might shy away from our softness. Vulnerability for many is associated with fear. Perhaps there were moments when you allowed your heart to lead, only to find pain in return. These experiences can make us think that being soft is dangerous, yet in the fight to protect ourselves we often push away the very essence that makes life deeply fulfilling. So let's explore why slowing down and facing our inner world, though it's extremely hard, is the first step toward enjoying the soft version within. Because in the embrace of our softness we can find a key to heal. The journey to embracing your softness begins with releasing the need for absolute control over how you feel or how you are perceived. It's about allowing yourself to exist in a state of softness, without the pressure of someone's perception about you or achieving a specific milestone. Imagine giving yourself permission to just be, to flow with the life's currents with grace and gentleness. This is the essence of living softly, a testament to your strength, not a sign of weakness. It's in the gentle acceptance of our emotions, especially the ones we label as negative, that we begin to understand that they are not permanent. They are waves in the vast ocean of our being, you know, rising and falling, each with lesson on resilience and peace. Engaging in soft music, slow dances, or intuitive movement connects us with our bodies in a ways that words often cannot. For those of us navigating through life storms, Finding solace in these practices can be profoundly transformative, guiding us back to our softness. My journey towards embracing softness wasn't just inspired by fleeting moments of insight, but it's rooted in consistent practice. As someone who's actively pursuing a degree with a specialization, with a specialization in art therapy and choreo therapy, coupled with becoming a yoga teacher, namaste, I'm not only feeling the healing power of softness in my own life, but I'm also deeply engaged in understanding the science and art behind it and how consistency is crucial to become and find this soft space and you know feel comfortable with this. The transformation from a state of constant doing to being has been remarkable, underscoring the necessity of softness not only as a personal practice but as a fundamental aspect of human wellness. Embracing softness doesn't mean a lack of discipline. Yoga, for example, is a discipline that invites us into a deeper relationship with ourselves and our bodies. It teaches us that simplicity does not equate to ease and that each posture, no matter how gentle, requires a presence and awareness that is both grounding and enlightening. It's the same with creativity. Creativity offers a pathway to our softness that is free from the pressures of productivity and external validation. Engaging in my studies and personal practices, I've come to see how art and movement therapy not only complement the discipline of yoga, but also serves as a vital tools in cultivating a gentle awareness of our inner selves. This combination of discipline practice and creative expression has been a key of my journey towards softness. If you want to embrace softness, I also encourage you to surrender. This aspect is a profound strength and can open the softness within us. This doesn't mean losing sight of our aspirations or settling for less, but recognizing that the soft version of ourselves needs attention, nourishment and care just as much as any other aspect of our being. It's about acknowledging that this soft space you know, within us is not a weakness, but a sanctuary, a source of strength and authenticity and a place that you can always come back to whatever happens. You know, you have this soft space and you can just lay down and allow yourself to lay down and just recharge. Try to surrender to all these ideas of how and who you should be and live from this you know, clear space, no pressure, just be. It's so much easier to create because you don't have these labels in your head who you are or who you should be. So you leave all of this pressure, you know, by surrendering. 
Also, creating a safe space within ourselves where we can explore our softness and vulnerability is essential. It's about turning inward, offering compassion and understanding to the parts of us that have been neglected or hurt. This internal sanctuary becomes a place of refuge, a ground from which we can grow, heal and emerge more whole. Remember that the soft version of you is not something to be hidden or suppressed. It is a testament to your capacity for love, empathy and deep connection. In embracing your softness, you embrace the essence of what it means to be human, you know, to be fully alive. Remember, you are love, deserving of love and capable of immense softness. In a world that often prizes the fast and furious, let yourself be, you know, sometimes gentle and compassionate. For in the softness, we find our true strength and our most authentic selves. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!